This is going to be a video tutorial on how to set up a web development project using VS Code. Let me uh, jump over to VS Code here. Okay, I have VS Code opened up now. First thing I'm going to do is create a folder for my project. I'm going to go up to the File tab. I'm going to click on File. I'm going to go down to where it says Open Folder. I'm actually going to be creating a folder, but I'm going to click on Open Folder. Now off to the, uh, the pane off to the left side here, I'm going to click on Desktop. I'm going to place my folder on my desktop. I'm going to scroll down to an empty area down here at the bottom. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to where it says New. And straight across to where it says Folder. I'm going to click on Folder. And I'm just going to call this uh, folder Website 1. Website 1. I'm going to hit Enter. Now I'm going to my folder is already selected here, so I'm going to go down and I'm going to click on Select Folder. Now as you can see in the Explorer pane off to the uh, left hand side here, there's my folder right there, Website 1. I'm going to place my mouse cursor over that uh, folder there, and you can see those icons appear. I'm going to click on the first icon there. If you place your mouse cursor over it, it says new file. I'm going to click on new file and I'm going to call this file index.html. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to create a folder for my CSS file. If you're going to use a CSS file, I'm going to go up to the second icon up here. If you place your mouse cursor over it, it says new folder. I'm going to click on new folder. And I'm just going to call this CSS, all lowercase. I'm going to hit enter. Now as long as the CSS folder is selected, you can see it's highlighted here. I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on the first icon, uh, new file. And I'm going to call this file style.css. Style.css, all lowercase. I'm going to hit enter. Now if you want to create a JavaScript file, I'm going to do that next here. I'm going to first click on my index.html file, just to highlight it, because I want to come out of the CSS folder. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to create a folder for my JavaScript file. I'm going to click on the second icon, New Folder, and I'm, going to, I'm just going to call this folder JS, all lowercase. I'm going to hit Enter. The JS file is the one that's selected. That's where I'm going to place my JavaScript file. I'm going to go up to the first icon. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to call this script.js. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to create a, a folder for my images. First thing I'm going to do though, I'm going to click on the index.html file because I want to make sure I'm not in my JavaScript folder or my CSS folder. I'm going to go up to the second icon. I'm going to click on New Folder. And I'm just going to call this Images, all lowercase. I'm going to hit Enter. Now I'm going to once again click on my uh, index.html file just to come out of my Images folder. And I'm going to create one more folder. If you want to have documents such as PDFs or Word documents, you uh, might want to put them in their own separate folder. I'm going to go up to the second icon, and I'm going to click on New Folder. And I'm just going to call this Documents. I'm going to hit Enter. And now I'm going to connect my HTML file to my CSS and to my JavaScript file. I'm on my index.html file up here. You can see the tab up here. Make sure you're on that. I'm going to make an exclamation point and I'm going to hit enter. That creates my uh, HTML boilerplate. Just above these uh, title tags here, that's where I'm going to place my uh, CSS link. I'm going to go to the end of that line before it. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type link. I'm going to hit enter.
you can either hit enter or you could click on this top wrench either way and down here where it says href equals double quotations that's where you want to tell the browser where to find the uh, CSS file this CSS file is in a folder called CSS CSS all lowercase I'm gonna make a forward slash and then the exact name of my CSS file is style.css CSS. Now to check to make sure that uh, this has been connected properly, I'm going to place my mouse cursor over that style.css here, and you'll see a follow link will appear right above it. If you click on that follow link, it should take you straight to your CSS file. I'm going to click on follow link. It takes me over to my CSS file. It is connected properly. I'm going to jump back over to my uh, index.html file. And at the bottom of my, uh, just above my closing body tag, I'm going to place my mouse cursor just after the opening body tag. I'm going to hit enter about four times, and I'm going to create a script tag. I'm going to close that script tag. Now inside of the uh, opening uh, script tag, I'm going to place my mouse cursor just after the T. I'm going to make a space. This is where I'm going to tell the browser where to find the JavaScript file. I'm going to type SRC equals double quotations. In between those double quotations, I'm going to type the uh, folder. My, my JavaScript uh, file is in a folder named JS. I'm going to do a forward slash, and then the exact name of my uh, JavaScript file is script.js. Now if I place my mouse cursor over that script.js, that follow link appears. If I click on that, it should take me over to my JavaScript file. I'm going to click on it. It takes me over to my JavaScript file. It is connected properly. Now I'm going to go up to File, and down to Save All, because I want to make sure everything is saved. Now if I jump over to my folder that I just created, this is the folder I just created. As you can see, it has my index.html file in it. It has my JavaScript uh, folder. If I double click on my JavaScript folder, there is my JavaScript file. I'm going to back up. It has my images folder. Any images will be uh, put placed inside of that folder. It has a documents folder. Any documents such as uh, PDFs or Word documents will be placed inside of that documents folder. And I have a CSS folder. If I double click on that CSS folder, there is my CSS file. That is how to set up a web development project using VS Code. Thanks for watching.